something else cool. Might not be cool to you, but it's cool to me. I need to worry about my health. I just turned 24. Woo -woo. Getting old, I'm getting up there in age. So I need to start taking care of my body before I let myself completely go. And I can't come back from that because I'm lazy. <laughs> but I mean, I'm skinny and everything like that. And my mom looks pretty good. So I have something to look forward to. I'm not going to really be able to let myself go. Like, I'd have to really, really let myself go in order to let myself go and get whatever. But um, I want to start off with drinking more water so I saw this challenge months ago and I went back to it and I'm gonna do the water challenge and I don't know if you can really see but it's from starts at 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. because I wake up er well, not early I don't wake up at 7 only on Saturdays but it probably sounds backwards but I have school on Saturdays and they have a school there early so 7 on Saturdays 8 on during the regular time of the week. Sundays, I sleep in. But, <laughs> water challenge, 7 a.m. It says, good morning. And you gotta drink up to this. 9 a.m., you can do this. You're here. 11 a.m., so it's in two hour intervals. Um, 11 a.m., remember your goals. 1 p.m., keep drinking. Mind you, it's 6.55 and I'm still at 1 p.m. But that's because I woke up late and I started late. But I'm going to finish the whole bottle today. 1 p.m., keep drinking. 3 p.m., feeling awesome. 5 p.m., no excuses. 7 p.m., resist, resist temptation. 9 p.m., almost done. And then it's just telling you your body thanks you. And I like that. So it's motivation all throughout the day to finish whew, a whole gallon of water now people are worried about you know can your body really flush that like really handle all that water a gallon if you're healthy enough like if you're healthy if your body is healthy you should be fine but I mean if you're not so healthy um you might want to check with your doctor first before you do it because you know you might stress your body out um it's the best way I can put it at least because I'm not a doctor I'm not about to get all you know deep with it so <laughs> but definitely if you're not as healthy if you're not 100% healthy you might want to check with your doctor before you do this challenge but it should be good for you it's um your skin your hair your nails everything like even inside your body because you know your body needs a lot of water because you lose a lot through sweat and everything like that daily so um I realized I um, was slacking in that and I wanted to go ahead and fix that so I'm going to start with working on this water challenge for 30 days. And you know they say when you do something for 30 days, it becomes a habit. So hopefully that happens for me because I just, I need to start drinking my water. I'm tired of my lips trying to crack up on me because it's dry and I'm not drinking enough water. And I'm not eating right, none of that. So I want to start with the water. Then after that, after with the whole water thing, I'm, I'm trying to work on my skin regimen again. Um, my problem is being consistent with my skin regimen, and that's when these happen, and I'm trying to get rid of all of them. So the water should help with that too. When you drink a lot of water, it helps to get rid of these on your skin, and when you're not eating and drinking so much sugar, you don't get this on your skin. But um, everyone has their different reasons for why they have certain things going on with their skin and their body or whatever. But I know it's because I eat a lot of junk food and I drink a lot of juice and sodas. And I'm going to try to cut down. I'm not going to say cut out. Because it's practically impossible at the rate that I'm at. But I definitely want to cut that. Like not even in half. Like more than half. Because I want to get healthy. You know. So I'm going to start with water. And I'm working on my skin regimen now too. And I want to start eating better for sure. Like I want to have a meal prepared for me every day that I'm working or every day that I'm at school. I want to have a meal. I don't want to have to go out and buy food. I want that to be like a once during the week occurrence where I go and I get food from like a fast food place. I don't want it to be an everyday thing because it's wear and tear on your body. It might be a little bit more expensive or it might not depending on how you eat. But... I have to start eating home cooked food more because I just can't allow myself to continue like this. I'm getting tired. I can't like 
function during the day. Like, I gotta get it all the way together. So, water, skin regimen, eating good, cutting out junk food and sugar more, less sweets that I'm eating, and exercise. Now, I love the gym, I love to work out and everything like that, but I can't be consistent with that either because it's like, I don't like to give people my money, you know, like, <laughs> I don't. If it's not clothes and shoes, I can do that, but <laughs> I know it's your body and it's your health and everything like that, but I feel like I could work out at my home or at the park or something like that versus paying somebody 10 to $100 a month. Yes, people pay $100 a month at the gym. Um, there's actually a boxing gym here in Florida, in Miami though, and it's $100 a month. You're crazy, I know. But I had a three day pass, so I took advantage of it. <laughs> I was like, why I pay you $100? Please put a little gym in my own house for that money, please. Anyways. People pay anywhere from ten to hundred dollars a month for a gym, and for what? I mean, if you're getting a trainer, that's some completely different. If you're trying to get your body right and you need a trainer, pay that money. That's different. I don't need a trainer. I can work on myself, work by myself on myself. Like I, I get down in the gym. Like I will work myself out. Like I don't play when I'm by myself in the gym. But it's fun to work out with a friend. And, um, I mean, that's motivational, but if you need a trainer and you need someone to push you, you could do that with a friend who's good at the gym or pay that money for a trainer. But I don't need a trainer because I'm good by myself, but I want to start exercising more. I want to exercise. I used to go running at this park. I'm going to try to do that again when I can. I'm so busy with school. It sucks. I'm not, I don't really have the time, but the days that I do have off, if I'm not doing care, I need to go work out and do something like myself because I'm start I'm really out of shape and it's really bad and it's driving me nuts because I'm used to being in shape so that's the things that I need to work on I want to get it together so but starting off with this water challenge a girl trying to get her body right like Tiana Taylor <laughs> I'm joking I'm joking but no for real I want abs like I love my butt I just wanted to be toned a little bit, get them squats in or whatever. But <clears throat> my boobs are fine. I don't want to lose anything in my boobs. I love my boobs. But I definitely want to get my stomach, my glutes, my legs right and toned and fine and sexy. And my arms too. Because my arms, I know that's not a lot, but they done got real flabby. And I used to do track and they were on point. I didn't have none of that going on. I had a muscle here. Like, I was on point when I was doing track in high school. I want to get back to that point. So, I'm going to start with this water challenge. Wish me luck. Hopefully, this becomes something that I do permanently a gallon a day. <sighs> I have so much more to go. It's 7 o'clock. I should be here in the grandma. That's because I started late. I had to drink more. I'm starting to become a little bit nauseous though. That's the only thing that kind of sucks. Is it because I, I'm drinking it so fast and I'm not doing it in two hour intervals because I started late? Or is it because that's just what happens when your body's not used to it yet? But I don't know. We'll see. Um, I'll definitely do a review to tell you, you know, um, how it goes for me. And if I stuck to it, hopefully I do. But I probably need to change the times because 7 a.m. ain't working for me. I should have thought about that before I did it. Because I'll be up until... Yeah, I could have done it to 11. I could have did 9 a.m. to 11 p.m. And that would have worked for me. Because I'd be up till 11. I don't go to sleep. So that would have been better for me. <clears throat> oh, that's another thing. I do need to work on getting more sleep. I want my bedtime to be 12 o'clock every night. That's early for me. Early for me, okay? I go to my bed, 1 o'clock is early for me. Early. Early. Like, I usually go to my bed at 2, 3 o'clock, I don't sleep. I'm always up. And that's really bad, I know, but I have to work on it. Everyone has their things they have to work on, and that's one of them for me. So, but, 
um, I'll tell you guys how the swatter challenge goes. You should take it upon yourself to do some research and see if it's something that you want to do. Your body needs it. And like it says, your body will thank you. So, but, um, join me and do the water challenge, okay? And thanks for watching. Bye.